Hey guys, another day on the vlog. We're down here in the garage today doing some winterization to the Z06. Today we're going to change the oil and maybe bleed the brakes. I've got it up on jack stands. Let's get to it. Today we've got this thing sitting back here. We've got both garage doors open. Let's go over a few of the things you're going to need. You're going to need the oil, 10 quarts. I think it takes about nine and a half. I'm going with Mobile One 5W30 as recommended. For the brake fluid, I use Castrol FRF Racing brake fluid. It works really good. I like that stuff. Oil filter, just an AC Delco PF64. Okay, the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a torque wrench. If you don't have one, that's fine. But it recommends torque, you know, retorquing the bolts. Um, 15 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter wrench. Let's get started. You're also going to need a catch pan. This is 15 quarts, so hopefully this will be big enough. Let's go in. Grab our wrench, grab our socket. Let's go. Let's go under. I hope it's enough lighting down here for you. You're going to have to take two out. This is one of them. This is going to be the other one. There's our filter. Let's get to it. I think we'll release the side one first. Then we're going to need some rags too. This one you can't really get the uh, get the socket on. Alright guys. Break this loose. And we're going to drain. There's just no way around this. You're going to get messy. You're going to get some stuff on your hands. That's a long window bolt we got going on there. Hey, not too bad. Alright, we'll let that drain for a while. I think I might be able to get the pan in the correct position to get both these at the same time. This thing's draining. Let me see if I can reposition this a little bit where we can get both off at the same time. I think that's going to be good enough. We're going to find out. I'm not trying to create a mess here. Jesus Christ. This is the second one that needs to come out. This is toward the front of the car, in case you're a little disoriented. All right, ready? Yeah, that works good. All right. We will just let both those drain for about 15-20 minutes and we'll slide out. So clean those up real good. 
for some odd reason, one of the washers is damaged, or one of the bolts is damaged. I'll throw the part number up here, so you can replace those if need be. The one over here looks like it's pretty much done. It's still dripping barely, but not a lot. Go ahead and close this up. And it calls for, I believe it's 22 foot-pounds of torque, which is basically about as tight as you can get it by hand. So you're going to want to put it on there, and then, like I said, just twist it on about as tight as you can get it by hand. She's on. This one's about done dripping as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and put this bolt back on. Wipe it clean. And then we're going to torque these down to I believe it's 18 pounds is what it calls for on these. I have the torque wrench set at about 20. Let me make sure here. Yeah, that looks like about 20. It ain't much. It ain't much at all. We won't be able to torque this one down. We won't be able to get in there to it, I don't think. We might be able to get on it. Eh, we won't. We're just going to have to do this one by hand. I'm going to put my wrench on this one. See how hard it is to turn that one? And that's what we're going to do here, too. Because I can't get the torque wrench on it. Okay. That's all there is to it guys. Brand new clean filter. Ooh, look at those headers. Look at those beauties. Alright. Get the camera here. Alright guys. We've got the new filter on. Both bolts in. New filter, torque to 22 foot-pounds, or about as hard as you can get it on with your hand. These go to 18. These two, this is toward the front of the car, just for orientation. Those go to 18 foot-pounds. Let's go dump in some oil. Put our funnel here. Position it good. Okay guys, here's the second jug. Like I said, we put all the first one in. We're going to put this one minus about a half a quart. And of course, after you're done, fire it up and check the oil level. On these dry sump cards, what you do is start to check the oil is started up. Let it come up to operating temperature, which I'd say is about 180. Five or ten minutes worth of running on to do that. And then shut the car off. And let it sit for about five minutes five to six minutes don't go a lot longer than that don't go a lot shorter than that about five to six minutes is the window 
with the car off, check the oil, the dipstick. That's how you check them in these dry sump cars. Okay, guys. Let's check see where we're at. Yeah, we still got about a quart there. A little more in. Trying to get this thing level. That's about a half a quart there. So I'd say we're pretty good. Let's throw another little splash in there. I'd say that's probably about perfect. So we'll save this. Half quart. This one's empty. Little trick is pour your old oil to get rid of it in these to take them down. Just makes it easy. Nice jugs to transport it, you know, to wherever you take it to recycle it. Okay, we're done here. We need a napkin. Okay. This is going to be hard to take this thing out while I'm holding the camera. We don't want any dripping. Wipe off if there was any dripping or any kind of excess around this thing. Which there wasn't, but you know. Okay, put the cap back on. Fire it up, let it get up to operating temperature, like I said. Shut the car off, let it sit for five minutes. Check your dipstick here. <coughs> All right, guys. That's the oil. I might believe the brakes later. If I do, I'll video it and make a, make a little video for you guys. That's it for today. Thanks for watching the vlog.